Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Mourinho Challenge. Now before we get into the interesting part of today, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Now, there is an update uh, and it's one that is certainly start certainly interesting. Uh, Liverpool have approached us. Now we they've offered us a job basically and I'm thinking of taking it. Now the reason why I think of taking it after just well, a year in charge at Leicester, is because I think it'll be an interesting team to manage. The reason for that is they're only they're not expecting us to do very well at all. Uh, they've got players like Mbappe, Alexander Arnold, and Virgil Van Dijk still. They have a lot, a lot of old players. Because uh, if we just look here, you can see Van Dijk, Salah, Allison, Andrew Robertson, uh, Jose Geyer as well. All looking a lot older now. So some of the key central players. But they've also got some really interesting players. Like obviously Mbappe, Alexander-Arnold. Um, the likes of Guendouzi and Lokonga in there. Marcus Antonio, Harvey Elliott's obviously still around as well. So a very, very interesting team. Along with that as well, they're still in all the Cups. They're in the Europa Cup second round. Uh, they're in the Carabao Cup semi-final against Man City. Which would be hard, but... We could already be near a, a trophy and Swansea at the FA Cup. I think this would be really cool team to manage because I think we can then really kind of forge them into the team we want. Um, and ultimately, if I'm honest, we're not going to do it great <laughs> at Leicester. We're seventh. I was hoping for a bit more of a title push, to be honest. Uh, it's not really worked that out that way. Uh, with the likes of um, Europe the Europa Cup, we've we've done well in that, we have done very well, we've won all our games, done brilliantly well, uh, but looking at the league, it's not been great, uh, we're out of the Carabao Cup uh, because of Aston Villa, and we've got Burnley in the FA Cup, so not an easy kind of game to play, so I think what we might do is accept this and go into uh, the likes of, let's see if we can get 120,000. You sure you don't want to give us 120,000? That'll give us 120,000. Um, so let's see how, how this goes. It's exciting, that's for sure. So what we'll do today is we'll take a look around. We'll, we'll see what the club's like, how we're going to go, um, and what our thought process is going to be, really. Um, we might look to also play a game. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. But um, I'll jump into it. Play attacking football, develop players using the U system, play entertaining football. We can do all of those. Maximum one year contracts for players over 33. I mean, to be fair, you've got loads of players over that already. So I wouldn't want to really bring in that many people. Cabra Cup's not important. Reach final FA Cup, qualify the Europa Cup. That's it. Qualify for the Europa Cup. It's really interesting. Liverpool have dropped right off. Uh, but it gives us a load, a load of time to kind of develop the team a bit. And what this also means is that we've got this season and then another two, which is great. Um, that's if we're going to stick around and another club doesn't come in for us. But there you go. Uh, lots of players still in around. I'll have to go through the contracts properly um, to properly see what we've got going on there um, and, and who's still about. We, we good youth intake possible for this year, which would be nice. Uh, obviously... We'll leave that probably as it is. Uh, transfers, I mean, tactical side, we'll also look at. We haven't got really any money for the window um, because they're £419,000 in debt for wages. So I'll look at kind of moving things around. Uh, but it'll be interesting. I think this is really exciting, uh, managing Liverpool. We've got new cards coming up. So um, we'll certainly do that. What I might do is get, let's just put control possession in for now. Um, and do the 4-3-3 DM wide. That's just, that'll probably change. Um, just so we can jump ahead a little bit and see what's kind of happening. So yeah, we've got Newcastle. I will have a little fiddle. Uh, we'll jump back ready for the game to see our first game in charge of Liverpool uh, at Newcastle United, who's obviously a big, big team now. So see you in just a moment. All right, here we are then. So I've taken a look around a little bit. Uh, I have... Slotted in the Mourinho Classic 3 4 1 2. We're going back to that just for this game, at least to see how things go. Um, I can tell why we're in debt because a lot of players are on over a hundred thousand pounds a week. Probably not worth it. I mean, you've got the, 
you've got the likes of uh, Mohamed Salah, who is is slowly starting to decline now, uh, and Van Dijk, who's retiring, who's on. They're both on over 150,000. I mean, once they're gone, I mean, <laughs> we'll have plenty of money. Uh, obviously, Mbappe up top, Parada who's uh, one player that they've brought in from Boca. He looks very, very nice. I think, I mean, him and Mbappe up top could be absolutely lethal. 23 years old there. Um, and of course, Mbappe there as well alongside him um, could be phenomenal. We've got Harvey Elliott, who I'm just going to sit in behind. Again, it looks very, very nice. Some lovely dribbling and passing technique, vision, just what you want inside there. And he can he can finish as well. Um, we've got Cucurella currently on the left-hand side. We probably would put Robertson there. But he's currently out with a bit of an injury. So he'll be playing out there for now. Um, then in the middle, we've got Sambi Lokonga. Uh, currently uh, at Liverpool. Playing in that kind of holding ball winning role in the midfield. 55 caps for Belgium. So he's obviously started to do very well for them. Uh, and then we've also got Gwen Doozy next to him as well. Um, in a deep-lying playmaker role. Maybe the midfield, centre midfield might be a place where we need to improve a little bit. But I think centre-halves are probably going to be a priority if we need to. Trent, obviously, he'll play on the right-hand side. We'll see how he does um, with delivering balls and all that good stuff that he's meant to be very, very good at. Now, we have got a back line of uh, Alvaro Fernandez, who um, starts off at Man United. Uh, he's slotting in there at centre-half. Could play as a obviously is probably a natural wing back really, but I think he'll be good as a wide centre back, so that's absolutely fine. Um, Van Dijk will be playing in that central role. He'll be kind of controlling everyone, making sure that they're doing what they're meant to be doing in his last season at the club. Thirty seven years old. That's I'm impressed that he's lasted that long. And then you got Valenti, Lutaro Valenti, who's um, been brought in as well. He'll be playing on the right hand side as a right wing wide, wide centre back. Um, so, yeah, there may be some room for improvements at centre-half. And then we've got Alisson in goal. Uh, so, as solid as ever. Still looking very good at 36 years old, as keepers normally do. So, let's just jump straight into it. Um, Newcastle today. Uh, they are in, I think they're in 11th, maybe. Uh, and, and Liverpool are sitting a bit higher than that. Um, we'll be able to take a proper look. Um, I'm just going to hand over the team talk and and send assistant because <laughs> I haven't sorted that bit out yet. But um, yeah, so Newcastle, 4-2-3-1. They look like a good side. Solomon, Torres, Gavin Birch, Basuma in there. So they're a good, good side. But I think I think we've got enough. Um, hopefully me coming in can kind of boost morale and, and get them going again. Uh, obviously, you're aware that I, I had applied for the Liverpool job previously um, and didn't get it. And then they came crawling back, of course, because they want the help from the master. That is Adam Palmer, um, who's only just won a trophy since the first <laughs> first two seasons in this save. A long range effort, as Alisson does palm it away, uh, isn't able to get there and he's going to go out for a corner. Not great, but um, first 30 seconds, they're just getting used to the new new formation and all that sort of thing. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Diop with a corner, whips it in. It goes near post, headed clear by Guendouzi. As Ferran Torres will get to that, uh, play it back to Dodo, and they'll restart the attack. Um, so, yeah, we're in ninth. Newcastle in 11th. Obviously, Leicester, who we've left, are just above us. But I think we'll probably leap from them quite comfortably. Really, I've got hiccups as well, so I do apologize. The Chais. Um Yeah, I think we should be able to get into Europe this year. We're in a good position. And like I say, we've got the Carabao Cup as well. The semi-finals against Man City who are in fifth. So they're not even performing that great. There's a tail in my face and a butt of a cat. My God, why are you here? What have you done? Are you, you're so dirty. Where have you been? Blimey, boy. Um, you've been a bit of a dirty boy outside. <laughs> half time's coming up and uh, nothing really has happened maybe we'll go we'll go a bit more positive be positive on the ball i think we'll take harvey elliott off mo salah it's your time to shine show me what you've got uh in there and i think we will probably leave it at that for now uh we can always again change things i hand over the team talk i can't be dealing with that i don't know what to say to players what do you say? what are you meant to say to players i don't know hey cat yeah, um, <laughs> 52 minutes. I mean, it, it, you want to see the cat? If you, He's right there. As, talk about distractions, boy. You're right in the way. Um, that's probably why we're not doing so well. It's because the cat's just distracting all the players. Um, 
yeah, there's there's certainly room for improvement. Let's say that. Uh, Mo Salah wins that header as Graven Birch plays it down the right to Fanini, who's going to look to get a ball into the box, maybe. No, nope, plays it back to Raspadori into Graven Birch again. Long range effort. Alison Becker does very well to get to that and saves it, palming it over the bar. They've been absolutely dominant this game. Um, maybe the 3 4 1 2 isn't the way to go. For future games um, we might look to change that up see what have a proper look at the players and, and how that's going to work but Parada coming forward now he's going to drive forward into that space it's a good tackle by Fanini to put the ball out of play but it gets us up the field it gets us that opportunity to get forward again Fernandez he plays it down to Mbappe inside of Cucurella, um, but he just loses out to Basuma straight away as Raspadori comes forward, plays out wide to Trinkout. No, sorry, Cat, I'm the one doing the commentating today. Dodo inside, plays it to Raspadori again, backheel to Lucas Perez, who's, I mean, there is a massive hole here. I don't know what we're doing, but the ball's played out wide to Dodo, who's just got round the back, whips that across, comes to the back post, and there's Manor Solomon to tuck it away. That makes it 1 0. Um, we're going to change things up. We are going to change things up, that's for sure. All right, so I have moved things around a little bit. Uh, we've changed it up to a 4-3-3, the classic Liverpool style that they play in modern-day football. Uh, a challenge by Basuma has knocked Virgil van Dijk down. He plays it straight across, and Mbappe's not quite able to get that on in on goal. Uh, but, I mean, what a start to the change of formation, change of style. Yeah, Virgil stepped forward into the deep... Defensive midfield play in position. Uh, Mohamed Salah whips that in. It headed clear. And Lucas Perez will look to break again for them. Um, we're in a controlled possession style. So we're going to be pressing, but not crazily. Uh, and we will look to try and keep hold of the ball when we've got it. But Lucas Perez coming forward. Plays into Trincao. He comes inside. Looks back to Gravenberch. Uh, he's going to take his time here. He's, he's a very, very good player. Uh, as he looks to Solomon down the left-hand side. He plays back to Graven Birch. Again, looking inside, he's going to get a strike away. Surely he does. It's a good save by Allison in the end uh, as we're not able to get to that rebound. Lucas Perez does. It's blocked, but falls to Graven Birch again, who looks all the way back to Basuma uh, as they keep it on the edge of the box once more into Ra Ras Padori, uh, but it's tackled. There we go. Let's see if we can get forward now. No, that's the end of the highlight. I didn't want to go forward anyway. It's fine. Trent Alexander-Arnold with the throw into Virgil van Dijk. Trent Alexander again. Van Dijk into Sabi Lokonga. Inside to Fernandez. Um, it's, I mean, I want to know why he's so far up the pitch. But Fernandez again. He looks across to Guendouzi. He shoots. It's a long-range effort as Lafont is able to get there. What a save that is because that is a fantastic effort by Guendouzi. I mean, we've got a lot of players with some fantastic hair in this side. You've got Fernandez with those long, luscious locks. You've got Cucurella as well with that frizzy hair and Guendouzi as well. I mean, we just need David Luiz and we'd be making a, a full side of just quality haircuts. Um, get Pogba in. Sorted. Uh, 10 minutes to go, though, and it is looking less and less likely that we're going to get something out of this game. We have looked a lot better, though, since making that change. So I think that is certainly something we're going to have to keep an eye on in the future. Um, Neil Porter, yeah, why not come on on that right-hand side? Uh, Mbappe's not done great, so we'll bring on Vladicic as well in that forward role um, and go from there. I mean, it's it's a shame, really. We It would have been nice to have got a win to kick things off. But again, this we're we're just about halfway through the season, so we've got plenty of time for development to come. We've got the Capital One Cup semi-finals as well, so loads of time to develop things. Hopefully, we'll be able to get something out of that game. Send the insistent because I don't give a shit what you're saying, asking me. But we've got the cup coming up. If we get to the final, you'll obviously see that. Otherwise. We'll probably be seeing you a lot later down the line um, if anything else happens. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you think we'll do with Liverpool. What you think about the move. Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it was a bad idea? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.